Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. I've been telling you for weeks now that America is due for a boom instead of a bust, right? With all that crazy liquidity that's getting into the marketplace. But what would you say if I told you that the recession might be over right now? Poof, gone. How about if the leading economist told you that America is finished with its current recession? Would you believe me then? Like, you know, a guy with a bunch of letters behind his name and degrees and all that kind of stuff? Would you believe me more? Well, check this out. Now, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification to receive future videos. Also, down below, to help out with the recession, grab your two free stocks at Weeble. Fund your account for as little as 100 bucks, and uh, get a couple of stocks for free. You can liquidate the whole account and keep the money, and you just boomed your own household. Let's face it, times are tough for everyone right now. No one is not having a rough time. With over 40 million people out there out of work, it seems like the situation is overwhelming and never ending, confusing, frustrating, upsetting, and just ridiculous, right? Fortunately, job losses during the month of May were not as bad as previously predicted. With estimates of 8.75 million job losses during the month of May, analysts and economists were surprised, literally probably a little shocked, to see that only 2.76 million jobs were lost last month. I say only like it's a small number. It's still crazy that so many people are out of work. Well, the difference is those people out of work are still getting paid, which is a great thing. A lot of them even more than they were getting paid before, which leads to why we're probably experiencing what we're about to experience. Mark Zandi, chief economist of Moody's, Moody's, the big boys, analyst stated his optimism that the worst of the mess might finally be behind us. Quote, the good news is, I think that the recession is over, stated Zandi. I mean, I, I hate to bring you bad, I mean, good news. I mean, you know, I'm sorry it's not great news, but at least it's good news. He's Continue, he continued that the recession, the one, the one that we've been experiencing, the one that really started in November, is over. Barring another second wave, a major second wave, or a real serious policy errors. So what does that mean? Basically, if we get another wave of that thing out there pretty badly and we have to shut down, that could be a problem. That, that's, that's not going to bring us back to a boom market. The other thing is if those people, those 535 people that make decisions over there on the East Coast called Washington, D.C., those policymakers and the Federal Reserve, what they do. So, you know, they're like Godzilla walking through the neighborhood. They might crush a few buildings. They might step on a few cars, you know, or tear up some stuff. But sometimes they get it right and they don't knock over any buildings and they don't step on cars. But a lot of times they do. That's how I view in business, that's how I view the Federal Reserve and the government as Godzilla walking through my neighborhood. Um, either they're not going to mess stuff up or they could. So right now, lately, they've been pumping in and actually propping up America. This is great news as he, he is an expert in job growth um, and that predicts a resume this month as well for the economy just start to, starting to really kind of explode. In other positive news, auto sales rebound during the month of May, big time. And I'll go ahead and show you a picture of that, which is incredible. Following a dismal April where only 8.6 million cars were sold. 
May showed greater signs of improvement with 12.2 million cars sold last month. This is also up from the 11.4 million cars sold in March. Now, remember, in February and uh, January, I believe we were about 17 million, I think is where we were. You'll have to look at the chart that I pop up there, but that's a, roughly around we were at, where we were hovering is about 17 million cars for each month prior to that. I know um, in my businesses, we've literally doubled what we did in, in May, what we did in February. Truck and SUV sales have stayed steady during the situation while standard car sales have dipped, right? Just your standard car sales have dipped a bit. It's amazing to see people financially comfortable enough to buy cars again. I say it all the time on this channel. It is your American duty to go out there and spend. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, right? Uh, when the government stimulate, uh, stimulates the, your bank account, you should go out there and stimulate the economy. If we don't, we will create what we don't want, right? Because if you hold on and hoard that money, then what happens is a economy that depends on 68% consumption doesn't consume, we'll have serious problems. Doesn't mean that we can't change that over time, you know, weed off buying stuff. But for right now, that's how our whole economy is based and that's how people get paid and have jobs. Finally, finally, all my sports fans out there, it seems like basketball is back, back, baby. A formal vote will go down tomorrow, but the plan has been outlined. A real plan for the NBA to return to action at none other than Walt Disney World Resorts, right? Isn't, isn't this great? Beginning July 31st. So all those people that put money into the stock market, you know, like, oh, I can't bet on my team right now. What do I do? What do I do? They stop calling their bookie. The bookie's sitting around going, God, what happened? Nobody's called me lately. No, they've opened an account like with Charles Schwab, 609,000 new accounts. And they said, yeah, I think I'll bet on AT&T and I'll bet on Wells Fargo. And now the stock market's gone freaking crazy. Any rate, 22 teams will be making the cut. 13 from the West, Co West Co Western Conference and nine from the Eastern Conference. Tentative plans include eight regular season games. That's eight. I mean, anybody can do eight games, right? A potential play-in tournament for the eighth seed and a full-size playoff ending October 12th. Think about how refreshed. I mean, these guys are they are going to kill each other. They're going to have so much energy and they're not going to be tired from all the games. I mean, these games better be off the hook because you know what? They've had plenty of rest. They should, I mean, they're going to kill each other. I mean, these are going to be incredible games. I think they should score twice as many points as regular games. I'm just saying. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to finally watch some professional basketball again so I can forget about all this other stuff that we're dealing with, the cough and the economy and uh, all this, uh, all the chaos that we're dealing with. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love sharing positive news about the economy and I sure hope this is only the beginning of a remarkable comeback. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care, stay safe, peacefully get out there and let's change what needs to be changed. You guys know who I'm talking about. Make sure that we change in a positive direction. I totally support that. Let's get some games going, let's buy some stuff and let's change this country for the better because now is the time. Take care. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you.